Hello guys, welcome back with me. Now we are going to try to create the XY plot or graph into the ANSYS Fluent Post Simulation Project. Actually, it's very easy. Now, if you follow my previous video tutorial, like uh, recently preview, right now, a picture of the counter of total pressure, as you can see in the screen. Uh, you're gonna understand how to create my model right now so I'm not gonna explain it anymore any further so just check my previous video tutorial in the description okay let's get started okay as we know already here my model is the flow of benzene or crude oil inside a double and oil bulls pipe and we're gonna plot an XY plot graph inside the model to check the distribution of pressures or velocities okay uh, if you watch my previous video tutorial you will understand what is the dimension of my model so I'm not gonna explain it anymore so let's just get started how to create uh, or to plot the XY graph in the fluid okay the first things to do is creating a line first uh, in the results you click in the surface right click in the surface click new run and then in the line break surface window you can either uh, input the points right here or you can either uh, select points with mouse so first uh, what I'm gonna do is uh, inputting some of the numbers as the positions to create a line inside of the picture I'm going to zoom in the picture once more okay like this okay I'm not going to explain my dimension anymore so I'm just typing here minus 50 because I, I want to uh, create a line exactly in the middle of uh, the pipe here horizontally in the in, uh, near the inlet until the first el elbow and then I'm going to input in here 2000 and then click create because we have already a line right here line number 5 and our print our counters right here right now is the total pressure counters okay now uh, the next thing to do is the XY plot. You just click the XY plot in the plots, then right click, click new, okay, and then in the Y axis function, just let it in pressure and change it in the total pressure, okay. Just X, uh, let the X axis function in the direction vector, and then in the surfaces, select the line five. They have been created before and then click save or plot okay now we have a graph right here as we can see in here at the first time it seems like the pressure is steady and then it is gradually changed decreasing in the near of elbow okay now i'm uh, gonna try the second trial using uh, mouse uh, click in the picture to create the line now once again you right click the surfaces, click new, line, line number six. Okay, wait, wait a second. I'm gonna show the counter once more. So display. Alright. Zoom in a little bit. Okay. Now I want to plot the graph right here, practically. Right, first we click the surfaces right click new line rate or and select points with mouse okay the friend will inform that uh, we must click on two locations in the graphics window with the mouse pro mouse but mouse button which means that you should use the right click of the mouse to select the two positions in the picture first right here and the second I want to plot right here okay click create close now we have another line line number six and then we plot again click the xy plot right click click new 
and then just slap it in the pressure and change it in the total pressure and then in the surfaces click line number six and then save plot okay now we have a graph right here uh, after the first elbow uh, the flow will flow vertically and it is gradually changed to it is uh, decreasing decreasing very very significantly into the second elbow okay now how we plot our graph right here first we select the file and then we select the export or save picture sorry not export we, we, we click the save picture and then we choose in the format of JPEG and then the coloring you can either select it in the color or in grayscale depends on you and then you just click save and we can change actually the resolution but if you want to use the window resolution that's alright we uh, I want to save it in the landscape orientation with the white background and just you, you can also preview it first before you save it okay and the result will be like this okay all right uh, I'm gonna save it so uh, the flip will open the window of the select file so you just uh, uh, choose your destination folder as you want okay you can either change uh, the colors or the uh, properties of the graph itself. Okay, first we do the, uh, uh, we double click the XY plot and also XY previous XY plot, and then we click curves. Okay, we can change the symbol of the marker style. You can also change the color. Perhaps I want to change in the dark blue and keep the size in 0.3 and then click apply. And you can also change the line style. Perhaps I want to change it as the same as the marker style color and click apply. Click close. Okay in the line number six seven plot okay we have changed the colors of the graph into okay okay uh, that's all uh, my tutorial actually uh, we can also plot this graph with other parameters and not just uh, pressure but also other parameters like velocity etc and not just two dimension, we can also use this into 3D model as well, but with different modification as well. Okay, uh, thank you for joining me, guys, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like into this video tutorial. Thank you, and have a good day.